What? Hey, so we kind of need you to create um, a vacation spot just somewhere in our solar system. Or get it done by March 31st. So you want to travel somewhere new, right? Somewhere exciting. Exotic, maybe. But Earth... <coughs> Earth is boring! Nobody... Uh-oh. So you want to travel somewhere, right? Somewhere new and exotic. Maybe with the family, maybe a honeymoon. But, um, Earth is kind of boring. I don't think it's inhabitable anymore. Have you ever tried thinking about a moon, like Titan? So Titan is one of Saturn's 82 moons, and it's by far the best to travel to, obviously. Titan measures 5,150 kilometers in diameter, and it has a whopping mass of 134 sextillion, 552 quintillion, 523 quadrillion, 83 trillion, 241 billion kilograms. That makes Titan more massive than Pluto, but also, Titan is now the second biggest moon in our solar system next to Ganymede of Jupiter. So, Titan was discovered by this handsome man, Christian Hudgens, in 1655. It was named after the Greek and the Roman uh, Titans of their mythology. Hey, if you're into isolation, Titan is a great way to get far, far far away from your problems. It's 780,775 kilometers away from Saturn. Titan takes 16 days to orbit Saturn and 16 days to rotate once. So, um, travel here, it's, it's gonna take a, a few few years, you know, because of Saturn's distance from the sun. But with our new light speed technology that we've in implemented in all of our planes, that would only take a few days maybe with layovers in like Mars and Jupiter, of course. And you get to stay in our five star resort. Okay, so Titan's atmosphere is uh, made up of 95% nitrogen and 5% um, methane. That makes the atmosphere breathable. And the two elements that make up the atmosphere, nitrogen and methane, they give Titan the famous orange hue that it has going on. Um, the atmosphere also extends 600 kilometers, uh, which is higher than Earth's. And Titan is also the only celestial body in our solar system other than Earth with liquid on its surface, granted. Uh, the liquid is made up of hydrocarbons like, um, you know, ethane and, and methane. So, here on Titan, besides the magnificent views of Saturn, we have actual seas, lakes, rivers, bodies of water, and, um, oceans, and, uh, sand dunes near the equator. They're made up of little hydrocarbon grains. They kind of look similar to the desert of Namibia in Africa. Titan may even have volcanic activity, but with water instead of molten rock. Um, the only problem uh, is you might need to layer like a lot. Titan is negative 143 degrees Celsius. Hey, but if you're into that, you'll be really pleased to find that here on Titan, it's so cold that frozen water plays the role of bedrock. Be bedrock! Hey, and if you're strong enough to brave the cold, you'll find that here on Titan, gravity is a lot weaker here than it is on Earth. The gravitational acceleration here on Titan is 1.354 meters per second, which is around 13.8% of Earth's gravitational acceleration. Uh, due to this, rain falls here at around 1.6 meters per second, which is much slower than Earth's. Um, and the raindrops here, on average, are 0.12 inches greater than those on Earth. Um, so that makes it just, you know, perfect for all of those rainy, aesthetic Instagram pictures. I think the only problem with that here on Titan is that we don't have normal raindrops. Uh, the raindrops are going to be made out of... Um, chemicals uh they're chemicals that you can find uh synthesized on earth so maybe not 
play in the rain and hey you know for those of you on the more studious side the celestial body is acting very similar to earth 400 million years ago so you know you can get a glimpse into uh, our lovely history although i don't know why you would because you know the, the planets it's, it's kind of boring yeah i wish i had a bottom to this globe but it's a work in progress but you should definitely come visit titan titan still remains the best place to visit in the entire solar system so make your next visit titan just imagine how cool titan would look on your passport you know like cool because it's, it's negative 290 degrees I'm so sorry. I'm I'm so sorry.